Now I'll show you one more way to use CSS styles in your page using something called external style sheets. Here I've got this web page about Hopper and it has a nice header and footer, makes it you know green and light green. Now, what if I wanted to make another page about Hopper with the same header and footer styles? Like if I wanted an entire multi-page website about Hopper, which had those headers and footers on every page, but different content in the middle of the page. Well, one way I could do that is by copying and pasting these CSS rules into every one of the pages that I make. But then whenever I wanted to change something about the header or footer, I'd have to change it in every page. Like if I decided the color should be slightly darker, I'd have to make that change for every page I had. It'd be better if I could just change it in one place. That is the point of an external style sheet. It's a file of CSS rules that we can include on multiple pages. So let me show you how to do this. Do you see these top three rules here? I've actually already gone ahead and moved them into a separate file, which I'm storing online on GitHub. That means I should be able to replace these with an external style sheet. I'm just going to comment them out. We lose the styles for now, but we're going to bring them back. All right, to include the style sheet, I'm going to use the link tag, which confusingly is not used for hyperlinks. It's used for bringing in files. Now I add the attribute rel, set that equal to style sheet. Next, the attribute type, set that equal to text slash CSS. And finally, I need to tell the browser where the CSS style sheet is. So I'll add href equals and paste in the URL. Ta-da! All right, so I've got my styles back. They're included in this file. You're welcome to go and check out this file to see what it looks like. Now that I've done this, I can paste this link tag into all of my pages about Hopper, and it will always reference the same CSS. So on Khan Academy, we don't make it particularly easy to use external style sheets in the web pages here because we don't have support for you to host style sheets on our servers. But once you start developing web pages outside of Khan Academy in a full featured editor, you'll probably want to start using external style sheets as soon as you have multiple pages in your website. If you ever see yourself writing the exact same CSS rule in two places, two pages on your website, remember to ask yourself, hmm, should this be in an external style sheet instead?